morning, everyone. And thank you, Alexandra, for organizing this. Thank you, Anna Maria, as well. Each of you has unique value to add to this conference, so I'm sure that will make Venture Connect awesome. And that's why I flew all the way from California, which is uh, 10 time zones, yet I don't have a jet lag. And how did I beat jet lag in only one night? The trick is to stop eating 12 hours before your intended wake up time, and then you have a hearty breakfast. And that will reset your sleep cycle in only one night. You don't need any medication, it's perfectly natural, and I love this sort of hack. My name is Dan Duscalescu, and I love uh, hacks and hard work, and it's a combination of uh, hacks, major hacks, and major amounts of hard work that make our startup possible. The problem that Bluesid solves is that there are no US visas for entrepreneurs. If any one of you wants to go to Silicon Valley to scale their startup or to start a new one, well, tough luck. There's no visa for you. There is a business visa, it doesn't let you work, doesn't let you earn income, and there is a work visa which doesn't let you start a business, so it's stupid. Now, the way we solve this is by looking at Silicon Valley as a, a box. For entrepreneurs, it's a box, and we think outside the box. And this is where the major hack comes in. We think outside the box, 22 kilometers to the left of the box. And this is a space, international waters, outside US jurisdiction, where uh, visa regulations don't apply. And there we can place a cruise ship with 1,000 of the world's best entrepreneurs, and they can start companies there, they can earn an income, and they can travel to the US on business and tourist visas. So you get the best of both worlds. How is this going to work? Use a business visa, which is much easier to get than a work visa, about 30 times as easy to get. And they're going to create this awesome environment, a live workspace environment, which has been called by the press the Googleplex of the sea. It's going to have uh, cabins for different budgets. It's going to have customizable office space, recreational space, 24-hour food, medical security, high-speed internet access, transportation to mainland via ferry boat, speed boat, or helicopter, and all the amenities you will find on a normal cruise ship, plus a bunch of uh, incubator services, such as uh, mentoring, legal help, immigration help, of course, connections with Silicon Valley. And it's a combination of uh, a 24-hour co-working space with a university dorm. And the dorm part is important because in university dorms is where major companies have been started. If you think of Google at Stanford or Facebook at Harvard. So there is something about the dorm, and you want to recreate this experience. Now, how much is all this going to cost? Well, not so much. $1,200 if you want to share a room with your teammates, and up to $3,000 if you want a room with a fancy ocean view. Unfortunately, we don't have any other types of view. And uh, this is competitive with San Francisco, where a studio apartment costs $1,750 per person per month, and you have to pay for a desk, while as a blue sea, that is included in the price. In addition, Bluesty will take a portion of equity in each startup, which is great for investors, because we're going to return them a hefty profit, and for startups, because our interests will be aligned. We'll only succeed if the startups succeed, so we are motivated to make the best we can to help these startups succeed. The idea is audacious, it has got a lot of press, a lot of traction, we have 870-something entrepreneurs from 255 startups and 52 countries that have expressed interest so far without us having a ship. So once we launch, we're probably going to be oversubscribed from day one, so we'll be able to curate these startups. What was surprising is that the motivation isn't not having to deal with visas. Motivation number one is being in the company of all these awesome entrepreneurs from around the world. It's being a unique incubator space. The amounts of press we are going to get by being on the ship. We plan to launch in Q3 next year, and our expansion strategy will start locally in the US with the ship off the coast of Los Angeles, followed by the ship on the east coast near Boston and New York, after which we are going to have enough profits to start building custom barges, which we are going to deploy around the world, <laughs> up to this stage of uh, world domination. <laughs> Thank you. If you are a startup, we would love to have you on board. Romanian startups are awesome. The other startups who are here are awesome as well. We need more of them. So far, we have mostly American, Canadian, UK, Australian startups because that's where we marketed. This is why I'm coming here. If you are an investor, we have extra information for you. This is our estimated market size, about 40,000 entrepreneurs. And so far, we've raised 120K from six investors, and we researched everything there is to know that doesn't require a lot of cash to be shelled out. 
ocean conditions from NOAA buoys, immigration regulations, uh, supply chain issues, connectivity via laser, microwave, submarine cable, er everything you want. And we got Peter Thiel on board. So Peter Thiel is putting up a part of the investment. He wants other investors to back the project because it's of an international nature. And we are also going to use the proceeds to set up a venture fund for the startups aboard. Now, this is why you should invest at this stage before start a venture fund. Essentially, you get to invest in any startup you please from anywhere in the world and have the near Silicon Valley, which is the best place for startups to succeed. You are going to join Peter Thiel, and you are going to benefit from a very low valuation if you think of uh, the round we plan to raise for the venture fund, which is between 60 and 120 million dollars. And I like to close with this quote from uh, Steve Jobs. The people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. Thank you.